Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are coming back, welcome back. My name is Dania. As you can tell, I sound very sick and congested. I'm currently battling cold. I'm drinking my handy dandy Pedialyte. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update. If you watched my last video, then you'll know a little bit more about our current situation with our third IUI. If you haven't watched it yet, I will link it up here. You can go ahead and watch it or you can just stay here for the update as well. In that last video, I had essentially mentioned that we had completed our third IUI and I had my blood work done for my progesterone to see how well I ovulated and that number was looking good. And the next thing to do was to have my HCG levels checked out. And so we got that first blood draw on, I believe it was July 12th. And that level came back and I believe that day was at 13 days post ovulation. And that number came back at a hundred, a hundred. I have never had my first blood draw be that high in numbers. If you followed along my last two IUI cycles, you'll know that my HCG levels and the rate at which they were rising just weren't up to par and had led to two chemical pregnancies. So when I saw that number, I was so relieved. We had another blood draw two days later on Friday the 14th and that number came back at 191 and my doctor was very pleased with that they were rising accordingly so i guess we we're pregnant it's still very early but we are hopeful and excited i had actually taken a pregnancy test the day before the first blood draw just because we were driving michael and i and i had passed out in the passenger seat like hunched over woke up my neck was hurting i was sweating my heart was pounding and I'm typically not one to fall asleep in a car and so Michael looked at me and was like you might actually be pregnant and later that day we were at a car dealership we were car shopping and I was like I'm having like menstrual cramps and I was actually convinced that with the fatigue and the cramps that I was about to start my period and so at the dealership I actually went to the restroom and I brought a tampon in with me because I'm really convinced that I was about to start my period and there was nothing so those my dogs were barking. And so that that really was my first symptom was probably the fatigue and then the cramps kicked in for like really a full week. They felt like they were like on and off and they were pretty dominant at night as well. So those were my two first symptoms, which is crazy to think about because my last pregnancy, I feel like I didn't really have any symptoms because my hormone levels were so low. So yeah, and it's crazy to think because I've never gotten to the point with the checkups afterwards where they'll be like, okay, like both your blood draws looks good. Now we're going to schedule you in for your Harvey ultrasound at six weeks. Like I've never gotten to that point before. So this is a huge milestone for us. Despite the fact that we're staying cautiously optimistic, we're still super excited, super hopeful. And just, yeah, I don't know. The thought that I have a Harvey ultrasound scheduled is a big milestone for us. The fear and anxiety is still there, but it's subsiding day by day because I genuinely do feel pregnant. Um, I am a little bit bloated. Um, I don't know if you can tell and the girls are definitely coming in and they are tender. They're very tender so. But yeah, other than battling this cold, we are we're pretty happy. I guess the next video will probably be the heartbeat ultrasound and it's actually scheduled at the end of my six at the end of six weeks. So and I'm not sure if they did that as a precaution just to make sure that there is a heartbeat for sure or what the, the reason for that was but um that is scheduled for july 31st so i'm gonna document all of that and i'll keep you guys posted we're genuinely very optimistic this just feels very different than my other two iui cycles and my other two pregnancies and not to mention that i did have three follicles that looked promising this cycle whereas my last two iui cycles i only had one per cycle so um so maybe that really did increase our chances of a viable egg and a successful pregnancy. So we're just hoping it sticks and it keeps trending this way and that we are able to welcome a beautiful baby into our family. We feel very blessed that we're even able to go through this process and even try, you know, alternative methods to have a kid. So we're really excited and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. And yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. But other than that, I know this was kind of short and sweet, but that's the update. And um, I'm going to go relax and heal myself. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.